Hey, hey, how's it going? It's a beautiful day here in Colorado, but it does smell like cows. I'm, <laughs> I'm here at the rest area. I just pulled in. It's time to make the video. And today I want to talk about how sometimes business is a drag. And I'll tell you why. Today, for instance, the very good copywriter that I follow specializes in email and I've learned an awful lot from him. His instruction and suggestion has led me down many different paths in copywriting and sales and all around marketing. Awesome, awesome stuff. And he's promoting a, a course by a very high level a list they call them copywriters and uh, this one happens to be a, a woman who has just dominated in the area and has beaten controls by some of the most famous copywriters of the past 20 30 years very good stuff and I, I would love to buy this course and the bonus is that my copywriting mentor if you will the guy that I study the most are awesome I would love to have them and it's a screaming deal and here's the hassle in order to sell you have to have inventory and in order to have inventory you gotta have some money to buy it with so I have I'm faced with this quandary I could attempt to buy these courses which I know are gonna be well worth the money. I'll probably never have the opportunity to get this deal again. Matter of fact, when it comes to the bonuses, I know I won't. And it's a bummer, but always you have to consider making money, making sales, making your marketing happen so that you can bring in revenue and continue in business. If for instance, someone makes the wrong choice, in this case, buys the courses, this puts you in the hole, $1,000 or whatever it comes out to be. And now, if you don't have the inventory or whatever it is you have to sell, if you don't have the money to advertise and everything, you're not bringing more people in, you're not bringing more people in, you're not making any sales, not making any sales, you're not making any money. And even though you may have a good time and you'll learn all kinds of great stuff and you'll be able to practice this writing, well, you may not be in business because you, did, you couldn't sustain. And this is why sometimes it sucks because you've got to make a decision about what you're gonna put your money into. See, I think a lot of people don't understand this about small business people. The, it's, it's like my buddy told me, Alan, he says, Dave, it's the same dance, just different numbers. It, it's, you may look at, oh, this guy's bringing in all this money, but you don't see the outgo, the overhead, all these things you gotta pay for. And sometimes you've gotta make a decision that is a clear choice between something that's going to sustain the business and keep you around or something you just want. And when you are buying as a consumer, you sometimes just buy stuff you want. It might be a little more than you need, but who cares? I deserve it. I work hard. There you go. And come to business? No, absolutely not. If you have that attitude in business, you're going to go broke so fast it won't even be funny. Because you'll be looking at, well, I could get this screaming new iMac with all the bells and whistles and it's got this cool little thing going on here and all kinds of programs and it costs you know, almost $3,000 or you bite the bullet and you buy what you need, which is a MacBook Air, costs you $1,000, get everything done that you need done and it will make you money cheaper. So you want to pay as little as possible to buy your profit. And that might sound weird, but that's how it works. You, you pay less, you increase your margin, you bring in more profit faster. That's how things go. So here's the deal. If you got a decision to make 
and it comes between something that's going to bring more customers in and make you more money, that always comes first. That's all I got for today. I'll talk to you tomorrow. I'm out.